I'm Iris. Welcome to Help! There's nothing on my topic! What to do when you can't find sources on your topic. Have you ever had the experience where you're searching for stuff on your topic and you either get zero results or else you get millions and millions of completely irrelevant results? Here are key strategies for moving forward when this happens to you. First of all, maybe there really is something on your topic that you haven't found yet. I have three other videos that can help you with this part, all of which are based on the core concept that every source not only has information for you, but will also point you toward other sources of information in the ecosystem of sources on your topic. But sometimes there really is nothing on your topic. Congratulations! You are about to add something new to the overall level of human knowledge. This is the goal of college level research and of lots of research and reporting that you'll be doing in your life after Carleton. There are two key moves that experts make when they're forging new territory. They make arguments from analogy, and they make arguments based on known theories or methods. Both of these are ways to build a foundation and a context for your brand new analysis. Sometimes you can find experts talking about a phenomenon or a primary source that's similar to yours. Maybe you find an analysis of similar texts, or similar cultural phenomena, or similar data sets. Then you can investigate how your source is or isn't like those known sources, and from there you can explore how well the conclusions of previous experts can help you understand your similar source. Sometimes you can find experts analyzing sources or phenomena using a methodology or a theoretical lens that you think will apply to the analysis you're doing. Maybe this is a theoretical framework that scholars have applied to other texts, or an analytical method that experts have applied to other datasets. From there, you can develop conclusions about your own previously unanalyzed sources. Whichever way you go, you'll often use your primary source or observations as a kind of case study for whatever broader context you've built, testing how it works or doesn't work according to known phenomena, methods, analogies, and theories. And of course, you can always talk to your professor and to me. No scholarship happens in a vacuum. All scholars talk to other people while they're formulating their ideas. This is definitely an important part of the research process. So as always, and even more so now, I'm happy to talk with you as you're doing your research here at Carleton. Contact me or set up a meeting.